Didn't I tell y'all that AJ had some kind of alcohol or drug problem? I be knowing. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Sharice, and this is Spirit Soul Sense, information for your soul. I will be reviewing episode six of Greenleaf and giving my personal opinions on the characters, giving some takeaways on some things that we can learn and apply to our personal lives. So stay with me, subscribe, like, comment along your opinion. I would love to hear from you. So the episode starts where the last one left off, where Grace is telling her mother about this child that she's lied about all this time. I was really looking for something more emotional, intense. I felt it was so anticlimactic. Here's this like build up, like AJ coming back in the life. He's coming now to mem like, where was the like drama? There was no drama in it. I needed tears, I needed screaming. I wish someone threw something. I wish, I wish Grace broke down because like, I don't know, maybe all her shame is internalized. We'll talk more about Grace later. I just didn't like how they did it on the show, sharing that bit of information. I really though enjoyed Bishop's memory of Grace. Like that time when she called and needed something and how he felt the urge to go and get her, save her, protect his baby, but he didn't. Well, everyone has their own like life to live and process to go through but i really liked his recounting i just like bishop in general i just he's such a manly man and i love a manly man i like bishop i have a hard time with charity because what she's doing doesn't make sense to me like i feel like her character people pleaser uh wanting to make her father proud doesn't really fit in with this now, I guess. I mean, they're all like older, right? So she's like late thirties at least. Like now is when you decide that you no longer want to be a people pleaser. You're going to betray your whole family. It just doesn't make sense to me. Maybe it's based on a real person. I just don't know this story in real life. So I really feel like Phil is running game on charity. Like at this point, I mean, he rewarded her with a kiss and everything. I just, oh my God. She's lying to her brother. The way she came with that information about Grace came back with the information that she recorded Grace. What, I, like, does she not see how any of this can trickle down to her and hurt her? She's just set on being a pastor in the church. Like being a pastor in the church is more important than your family. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make any sense to me. But when people are living in fear, when you live in fear, when I am living in fear, we do some things that really don't make sense. And we end up hurting people that we really maybe didn't want to hurt. Or maybe we did want to hurt. <laughs> Which is also like a painful process, right? To go through life and not accidentally or on purpose hurting other people charity i'm gonna pray for this character i really like feel some type of way about all the betrayal all the lies i mean this is a family of liars they all lie which isn't surprising to me that aj also lied about stealing those drugs it looked he it looked like him to me on the recording like that's what you were, I mean, his whole demeanor when Grace came in uh, to talk to him and he's like, you have to do this for me, guilt tripping her. I was like, I think he did it. But I also think Grace, the liar that she is, is going to lie for him. And she did. Uh, but me is not with the shits, okay? And she's like, you gonna tell me if you did it or not. And AJ is like, storying around avoiding the question and then ends up running away like that's his thing he's gonna just run away when things get too hard or he's feeling like attacked or vulnerable or empty inside and so we get confirmation that he really stole those pills and then you see him running away with the pills and so you know now he's got a drug problem which fits it fits uh mother abandoned me you know, I had to steal to survive. And so one of the ways he's dealing with his pain is he's self-medicating. 
lots of people self-medicate. Some of the most famous people have self-medicated, like Michael Jackson, uh, like Prince. Like these are people who, instead of dealing with their pain, they found a way around dealing with it, to cover it up, to avoid the feeling and processing of it. Those are extreme examples. We all do something different in our own life. I have a thing about food. I love food and when I'm super stressed, it's going to be in me. I'm just gonna eat all the things, all the fries, all the things I really shouldn't be eating uh, until I want to face like the pain. And so for me, it takes a little bit uh, shorter amount of time to get out of that. And the food is not like a, uh, well, it is like a drug, but it's not like a illicit substance that can uh, make me lose my job or make me hurt other people. But we've all got our things. Pay attention in your life and you'll see what your thing is. Jacob and Carissa. I feel like Jacob shouldn't have lost his job. I mean, I guess he didn't do what he was supposed to do. He was supposed to keep that little boy out of trouble and he didn't. But like he was even there. How was he supposed to prevent that from happening if it's something that his daughter had to call him? Like if he wasn't there trying to break up the fight, would he have still gotten arrested? Like, is he responsible for every one of this? I guess he's saying that it's, he's not a helper, so they don't need him anymore. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I believe in lots of chances, I guess. Um, so I, I don't know, I was just like, really they fired him for that? Um, losing that I, and the, I guess the publicity around it, is that really enough to get him fired from being a pastor though? Mm. I don't know. Jacob out here taking L's because also, also, Carissa and Fernando, I mean, Fernando was some, yeah, I liked Fernando's energy on screen. Um, uh, propositioning a married woman, uh, I, I would like guard against that for anyone in like daily life. I don't think that's a good idea. Carissa is also like engaging in this behavior of i need to get out of this house getting out of this house is going to save me it's going to solve all my problems when it's not and so because she believes that belief so strongly she's willing to go to any like lengths to do it um are you wondering like i'm wondering why are these people still married why are y'all still married i i think you don't like each other i think you tolerate each other uh, I'm not like definitely get divorced because you have like some problems, but I think the two of them have very different visions for the way they want to live their lives, right? So after assessing that, well, they haven't assessed it, but if they were to assess it, like why are y'all still doing this? If it, it like makes no sense. Jacob cheated, uh, Carissa is cheating. Remember when they had like that swingers couple come to them and like proposition them and she was willing to do whatever it took to like get to the next level just like girl oh girl I mean Jacob was also having like fantasies about Tasha both of them are coming from a place of fear and lack and really have lost, the whole family but them, I'm talking about lost touch of their relationship with God, spirit, the universe, and so are engaging in like behaviors that compensate for the lack that they're feeling now, right? Jacob lost his jobs. He's like feeling unsupported. Carissa comes in with this, we bought a house business with money from where? You know the biggest things in relationships? Finance and sex. Where are you, like, how do you think this is going to, I just keeping secrets from your partner. I just they're so unhealthy. They're both unhappy. That's the kind of thing where you need to sit down, pause, take inventory of your relationship to see if this is something we want to continue. It's really something people should be doing at major points in their relationships. One year, three year, five year, ten year. You need to check in. You need to find out, is this still working for us? Are you feeling good? Is there anything you need from me that I'm not giving you? Is there something I can do to make you feel more secure, or supported, or loved, or whatever? The question needs to be asked. They haven't asked it, and so we're here at this point where now Carissa is cheating. I'm glad she felt guilty about it, because that means she's still 
interested in her husband but this whole emasculating him thing not supporting him thing and jacob is at the point where he's just like whatever this is kind of just the woman she is you know how she is and so they're both unhappy tolerating each other it's not it's just not the way not the way don't don't do that don't look at this don't do what they're doing Oh, also, were you feeling that formidable speech that May gave to AJ like I was feeling it? Oh my gosh, she is such a good actor. Oh my gosh, and she's so right. I mean, that character is, is definitely formidable. She's a plotter, she can do whatever she wants really in life. And May's goal is to get the church back. They don't need the church back. What these people need to do is get their house in order this family is just crazy bonkers they have so many things inside that they need to work on we'll see what happens uh i'm curious to see noah come back i could have sworn that um the the actor who plays grace talked about her flame coming back i want to see him like i'm ready for more shit to come up okay um and then i'm curious about charity's ex-husband is he gonna be in this at all uh is charity going to like compare herself to him and see like how happy and healthy he is and how how much of a dark turn she has taken i thought she was really gonna turn like come back to spirit right she had the pull but she ignored it like a lot of us do in our lives we need a lot of different experiences of the same thing in order to learn the lesson. You could have learned it in the first time, but you weren't paying attention. But I think the hope is that we get better every time. There's a challenge or obstacle or the theme in our life continues that we gather more information and we become better people. I mean, that's the goal. Tell me what was your most shocking moment this episode or something you'd like to see happen or your reaction to AJ really actually stealing and being addicted. Thank you for watching.